What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be having some fun with it. Today, we are rocking out with a Don Fan team that also features Choice Band Scissor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the community. It really goes a long way. So shout out to all the subscribers to the Jeans community. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only elephant over here. The short little pudgy elephant Don fan is really, really cool. He's definitely a fun Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. Well, not the rank ladder. In the competitive Coliseum ladder, whatever you want to call it for BDSP. But yeah, definitely off meta and, and super fun to use. We got the leftovers as his item. We're rocking a sand veil ability to actually roll in with Tyranitar. And last but not least, we're rocking out with an amazing moveset of EQ for stab, knockoff for coverage, and a takeoff items, ice shard for first turn priority, and fire fang for our fire coverage move. Right next to him, second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar. Tyranitar is pairing perfectly with Dom Fan due to the Sandstorm. So they're like Sandstorm buddies, kind of like Garchomp and Tyranitar. But this time, we're using Dom Fan and Tyranitar. We got Protect, Dragon Dance to set up, Crunch, and Rock Slide for its moveset. Then its item is going to be that Lumberry to, you know, take off any status condition that our opponent wants to throw at us. Third Pokemon on the squad is Choice Band Scissor, baby. You guys know this thing can hit like an absolute truck. So hopefully we get to get him into a few battles and do some big damage with him. We're rocking out with the moveset of Bullet Punch, U-Turn, X-Scissor, and Night Slash, alongside with the Ability Technician. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Gary the Gyarados over here. Super, super great in most if, or most situations, considering it has Intimidate as its ability, and it can hit hard, and it has a great moveset. We got Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to protect for that thing's moveset, and then the uh, item that we're holding is going to be Life Orb to make his damage get a little bit more of a boost. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Togekiss over here. Togekiss is perfect for Pokemon that want to set up. So for Pokemon like Gyarados or Tyranitar, if we want to set them up, we're just going to bring them in with Togekiss, follow me, redirect shots, and then just go from there. We obviously got the scope on as its item alongside with the ability. Oh, hustle. Wait a minute. Did I pick the wrong? Did I pick the wrong? What's it called? I might have the wrong Togekiss. We might have to switch that out. I am going to switch that out for you guys, but. The tokens that we're going to be using is going to have scope ones and super luck, and then the moveset is going to be normal with follow me, protect, dazzling gleam, and air slash. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Ambipom over here. Ambipom is a great lead in any single situation. It's got Fake Out, it's got Double Hit, it's got U-Turn and Aerial Ace, alongside with that Technician ability, and then its item is going to be a Silk Scarf to boost normal typing moves. But guys, there's the team preview. All I have to do is swap out this Togekiss so I get the one with the right ability, but let's hop into that Coliseum and get rocking out and look to get some wins with this Dom Fan and Choice Band Scissor team. We're hopping into our first battle, and look what we're going up against. Probably the strongest team that we have ever burst. And this guy had to pick the rules, so he picked Legendaries Allowed, and he picked 6v6. So we're going up against Lugia, Shaman, Arceus, Deoxys, Zapdos, and Groudon. If I win this, everybody who's watching who's not subscribed has to subscribe to the channel. And if I lose this, everybody who's watching who's not subscribed has to subscribe to the channel. I'm just messing with you guys, but uh, let's get into this. Who should we lead? This seems awful for us. This seems awful. Amipom, you're getting in as lead. I think we might try to set up a Pokemon, because that's like our, our one way out of this, is setting up, like, Gyarados or something. We'll fake out. Maybe you turn out later. But we have to get this Gyarados set up and rolling. That's exactly what we have to do. But it's 6v6, so I'm just going to start picking the rest of my Pokemon, and we're going to roll out from there. Are you kidding me? This guy really, like, hopped into the Coliseum and was like, I'm going to use Arceus and uh, Skyform Shaman. <laughs> I was like, get out of my face. It, it, it's okay to use, like, maybe, like, just, like, Groudon or, like, just Kyogre, but, like, when you're stacking your team like this, like, how is this fun? How is this fun? Oh, it's shiny. Wow. Wowzers. Deoxys and Shaman come out here. I'm definitely cool with that. He's going to go... Oh, we're going to go Ambipom and Gyarados. And, yo, this music's jamming. I just got, like, a random music. This is a jam jam. We're th thriving here. Pressure's going to come out from that Deoxys, if I had to guess. And Intimidate's going to fly here, too. Now, I don't know if these guys are special or physical attackers, because I don't really I don't really play with these, guys, these uh, legendaries too much. But we're going to drop a little Intimidate on the field. And I'm going to try to set this up. I'm going to go for a Fake Out alongside... Who should I, who should I Fake Out? Who should I Fake Out? I'm kind of leaning towards Shaman. I don't know why. Yeah, let's Fake Out Shaman here. Let's go for this lovely little Dragon Dance here. For this lovely little Dragon Dance. That's exactly what we're going to go for. Exactly what we're going to go for. Fake Out Shaman. Uh, get off some... Oh, that's some beautiful damage. That's some beautiful damage over onto Shaman. I wonder how fast these guys are. He's going to go for a Psycho Boost. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. His special attack's gonna drop harshly. I never even seen it. That just dumps on my Amy Palm, no problem. That's fine though. We're dragon dancing up. We getting rolling here. I wanna put up a fight. I wanna put up a fight here. I wanna pit put up a big old fight. 
So we're gonna do that. My speed gets boosted, my attacks boosted. Um, who should I go into from here? I could go choice band scissor. Really not bad whatsoever. Not bad whatsoever. And then pivot out. I'm kinda with that. I'm kinda with that. Let's go, let's go into let's go into scissor here. Let's go into lovely little scissor. And now I can drop a nice little uh you turn, take out the shaman, right? I should be able to take out shaman. Should be able to take out shaman. Or we can oh, we can use it on the oxys. Who do we want to take out? Uh, I was gonna I think I'm gonna U-turn take out Shaman. Or do I just X scissor and dump on him? I think I'm gonna U-turn and pivot out from you. Just ice fang up on the U and take Shaman out. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He still outspeed see or speeds me. That is nuts. He's gonna seed flare me. Can we eat that? We do, I love you, Gyarados. I just going to drop my special defense head. That is nuts that you're still faster than me. Get out of my face. Go after scissor. Thank you. So he goes after scissor. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. We're gonna drop a nice little ice bang. It's crazy how he still outspeeds me. We're gonna take him out though, yo. We're thriving here. We're thriving here. We are thriving. We're fine. We're doing just fine. Gyarados gonna take some life or damage, and I would love to get off another turn with my boy. My boy Gyarados. How much damage are we gonna do with this U turn? Oh my god, brings out the focus ash. Get out of my face. We bring out focus ash. I'm gonna bring out Dom Fan at this point, just so we can ice shard and take first turn priority. That's my plan. That is my plan. Dom Fan, get on out here, dude. Get on out here, Dom Fan. We need somebody with first turn priority, and you're my call. You are my call here. Get him out here. Actually, do I even go for a first turn priority move? It really depends, because that thing's special attacks dropped harshly. So we could just drop an EQ. And try to get off as much damage as we can onto uh, whatever Pokemon he throws on to this right side. I don't lean towards that a little bit. Let's see who he throws out. He's gonna throw out. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We don't like that one bit. I could take off his item. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards an EQ, but you know what? I'm gonna go for an Ice Shard just in case Deoxys wants to go after Gyarados. And then we're just gonna go for a Waterfall here. Can't even do that. Can't even do that. This thing has like the water plate on it. Of course it does. Of course it has the water plate on it. So, you know, I'm just gonna do this. I shot gonna fly through it. Deoxys, get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. So we do that. I'm trying to think of ways that maybe we can win this. He's probably he's gonna hit me with a water move, right? I do outspeed that thing. How much damage are we really gonna do on that? Not bad. Not bad. I wish it was a little bit more. Down to 28 HP. And what move is this thing going for? A Giga Drain. Of course, things ripping with Giga Drain. Giga Drain comes out here. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I could bring out Sizzle. I could bring out Scissor or I can get the Sand Veil combo rolling. I could get the Sand Veil combo rolling here. But I, the thing is, I do not want him to throw out Gyarados. Or not Gyarados, Groudon. That would be a problem. But yeah, I, I, th I think we have to rock into these guys. Right? Yeah. Let's swap in him. And we're going to save our Scissor for the back end. Because Scissor could be really, really good for us. Definitely could be good for us. He's going to throw out Lugia. We're dropping our T-Tar. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Even though this thing's rocking Giga Dream. It is scary, but... No, we, 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 we're here. We're here. We're here to play. Came to play today. We came to play up against these guys. This is whack, though. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would. I'm going to go for a knockoff because I really want to take off this thing's item. And I might double down into this Pokemon. Could go for a Rock Slide, too. But again, these guys are probably going to outspeed me. So, go for Dragon Dance. I'm going to try I'm gonna try to set up a Dragon Dance. That's exactly what I'm going to try, try to do. I'm going to try to set up this Dragon Dance. Ice Beam's flying through here. Eat this up. You should be able to eat this up, right? Yes, sir, Dom fan. Yes, sir, Dom fan, sir. This thing's gonna go for a judgment. Are you kidding me? Are we dead? I think we're dead. We eat it, though. We love it. We love that. We love that we eat. Now we get off a dragon dance. Love a little dragon dance. I'm hoping my boy can outspeed at this point. Now we get off some bigger damage. And Dom fan's gonna knock off this thing's side. Beautiful. Yes, sir, Dom fan, sir. <laughs> Good work, Dom fan. Knocked off its left That's huge. And Buffets are gonna fly through here. Let's get let's get thriving. Let's get thriving. Okay, so now what's my play here? What is my play here? Tom Fan's obviously going to Ice Shard because he dies in one shot. So we're going to Ice Shard just to chip off some damage onto Lugia. And then I think hopefully my boy can outspeed. And we can drop a mean old Rock Slide here. And maybe get off flinches? Let's see. Go ahead, Tyranitar. Go first. I don't think he is going to go first, though. Tom Fan's going to Ice Shard. Yeah, all right, send it. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Yo, go ahead, T-Tar. You're up next, buddy. No, P goes first. And yo, Tom Fan dodges. I love it. Dom fan dodges and now my boy goes. That's huge. That's huge. And we take out Lugia. Give me a flinch on that thing. Give me a flinch onto that Arceus. Give me a flinch, yo. Sandvail Dom fan thriving through here. No flinch. Judgment's gonna fly through here. He's gonna take out my T-Tar. So T-Tar's dead. Okay. 
I understand. That's fine. That's cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We're, we're putting up a fight, though. We're putting up a fight, though. Nah, man, it's still in here. Nah, man, it's still in here. Drop some more ice shards if you want to. Well, if it's a flying, get it done. Let's get it done. All right. Let's make it happen. Now fans get some HP back from this left there. We're just slowly restoring HP, which we love. And now I could go into Scissor if I want to. Could go into Scissor, but we go Tokus instead. I'm leaning a bit more towards Tokus. Who does he have left? He has Zapdos. Oh, Zapdos and Groudon. Who's he going to go into? Anybody but Zapdos. It's going to be Groudon. Okay, so. I don't fly through here. I'm trying to think of what we can do here. Ice Shard, definitely. We're going to slant it that way. It is super effective on the Groudon. And I'm going to look to get some uh, get some big damage off here. I'm going to look to get some big damage off here with the Super Luck uh, super luck Shot. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go Gleam. I feel like if I get Super Luck and I get a crit, I can take out the Arceus and get some big damage off on the Groudon. Ice Shard flying. Yeah, not bad. Slowly chipping up. We know Donphan's slower, so we're just like, okay, he's going to die. He's gonna Giga Drain, that's rough move. That's some mean HP he's gonna get. Mean HP! Tokus, can you outspeed that Groudon? I think you can. I think you can outspeed the Groudon. I think you can. Go ahead, Tokus, do it. Tokus does do it. That's a Gleam Fuster. How much damage have you Oh, I don't think we got any crits there. I don't think we got any crits. Stone Edge flying here. And Tokus is eating. And we're gonna have to bring out my main man, Scissor here. Scissor's gonna be choice banned here. What are we choice into? Did we choice in that bull punch just for first time priority? I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. Even though it's not very effective on the Arceus, I'm still kind of digging it. We're going to go for a bull punch here. See how much damage we can chip up. And if we follow me, what's my plan here? I'm just going to go for the air slash. I'm going to go for the air slash. Let's see, what, let's see what we can get done. Scissor, get some big damage on this. Bull punch flies through here. And not enough damage. Not even close. This thing has a berry too. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. But yo, I really want to try out this battle. We actually did really good. We actually did way better than I thought we would. Ice Beam flies out here. Arceus is just teeing off on us at this point. Arceus is just teeing off on us at that point. But not gonna lie, we did a phenom. That was that, that was that was way better than I thought we were gonna do. Overheat's gonna fly. We're dead here. We're gonna start off 0-1. But you know that battle doesn't really count. We're just showcasing the team, doing all that good stuff. But we took out how many Pokemon did we take out? We took out three. And Arceus, we we almost took it out. But GG's. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first real battle, but second battle for today's video, going up against a normal team 4v4 action. He's got a Anger Point Tauros combo with the Frost Lash. You know, if he gets hit by a critical hit, it'll boost his attack like crazy, so we gotta watch out. We definitely gotta watch out for that. He also has the Breloom, the Togekiss, the Quagsire, and the Metagross. So he has a bunch of cool Pokemon on his team. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I'm thinking of leading Ambipom because, you know, Ambipom's just too good not to lead. So I'll lead Ambipom all day, and then I want to kind of lead... I kind of want to bring Scissor for back-end support. Scissor's just too good for back-end support. Super effective up against uh, the Togekiss, up against the Frostlass. I really do like that. I actually might lead both of those guys. Could be good. Could be good. Or do I lead like, maybe like uh, Donphan? I could definitely lead Donphan. Donphan wouldn't be bad. Or I can lead a Pokemon like Gyarados to set up after a fake out. Or Tyranitar. Be good. Could be good. Because I can fake out, then you turn out, get in Donphan. I'm leaning towards that. Yeah, let's go Donphan, Tyranitar. And you know what? We're just going to bring... Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Let's bring Scissor. Yeah, I really do like Choice Band Scissor in the back end. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, that first battle was definitely whack. Was definitely whack. I was just like, yo, let's do it for the community. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. That was that was kind of fun for me on my part. But I just, I just want to see how, how this team could... uh. It thrive up against it. But there was Pokemon like Shaman and all that where they were outspeeding my plus one Dragon Ants Gyarados. I'm like, come on, yo. That's broken. That is broken. And then he used the uh, the Psycho Boost with the Deoxys just dumping on my Pokemon. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, that's awful. That is awful. But he's going to end up leading Breloom alongside with Quagsire, which I'm really cool with. I am really cool with that. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into a fake out onto the Breloom. And do I set up a Dragon Ants? I could try to set up a Dragon Ants. Or I could go into a Crunch. Could do a lot here. Could do a lot here. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out you, and I'm gonna try to set up this dragon. So I would love to maybe you turn next turn or just stay in double hit with Amy Palm. It really depends what he does. But the Quagsire is scaring me a little bit. Just, just those water moves. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. So we'll see what he does. He's gonna withdraw Breloom. Okay, so Breloom gets to withdraw here. That's fine with me. And who's he gonna swap into? Let's swap into Metagross. So Metagross gets to swap in. I'm cool with that. Fake out's gonna come in here. Mwah. Chip up some damage. That actually did a lot of damage for a not very effective fake out move. I love it. We Dragon Ants, so now we get that plus one on speed and plus one on that physical attack. So great move for us. Great little turn for us. Let's see what this Quagsire is doing. I think he's doing something crazy. 
probably doing some crazy. Let's see. No, poison me. I got the lumberry though. I got that lumberry all day. Beautiful turn for us. Beautiful turn for us. So if he does that, we're just gonna, you know, hit that berry. It's exactly why we have him on. It's more so for burns, but we'll take that. We'll take that all day. And now I really do not want to swap my. Uh, I don't know if I swap my ampy pump. I'm leaning towards no. I'm leaning towards just double hitting into you, getting off some big damage, and just crunching over onto this guy. Right? It sounds really good. It sounds really good. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, because Ampy Pom can get off some big damage. She outspeeds pretty much all the dudes unless they're using like, attack, but he just gets off some he just does a lot of work. But he's gonna protect the Metagross. We're gonna drop a nice little double hit, and then I'll U-turn probably next turn. Or uh double hit comes out here, chipping up some decent damage, and he's probably gonna toxic me, right? Is that is that his plan? Is that this dude's plan? Is he just gonna be like, hey y'all, toxic this? Toxic this uh Tyranthor to fill its poison. He's gonna scald me. It's fine. He goes after Amy Pom. I'm with it all day. Don't burn me. Leave me alone. Cool. So he scalds that. That's that's fine. I feel like we're thriving here. Now, now I'm a U-turn pivot out. I am U-turn pivoting out into my lovely Dota. I would I would rather get the Dom fan out here with that uh with that sand rolling. Just to use his sand bill and kind of get him to his fullest potential. It's just a good combo. So I can definitely see him swapping Metagross here. If not, Metagross is dead. So we still have to pose that threat with the crunch. So I'm gonna keep aiming down onto that Metagross. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But we know he has Breloom in the back, and we should be fine with Breloom. We do have a uh, we do have Scissor who can get some work done onto him. And then we also have uh Amy Palm in the back end, and then we have Ice Shard with the uh, with the Dom fan that it that is first turn priority and super effective. But we're U-turn and pivoting. We're getting out my lovely little elephant Don fan over here with a bunch of super effective moves onto these guys. Bunch of them. We got the EQ, we got the knockoff, they're both for the uh what's it called? And the Fire Fang, which all is up against this Metagross, who is now dead. Get him out of here. Metagross can get on out my face. Dragon Dance Titar set up. He's doing some big damage. The Quagsire is going to get another turn. I'm not worried about it. He's going to scald again. He's going to stockpile. This boy's stockpiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of scared of that. I'm kind of scared of the stockpile. Defense is boosted. Special defense is boosting. And this thing is left over. God dang, dude. <laughs> this thing is scaring me. All right. Uh, we're going to take off that thing's item. We, we, we're not dealing with that item. So my boy Don Fan is going to do his little flippity flips. He's gonna take off that item, and then we'll decide what our T Tar's doing when he goes into this Pokemon. He's gonna go and Breloom. That's cool, man. Breloom's gonna poke out here. I'm definitely knocking off, and then I'm just gonna drop a Rock Slide. If I drop a Rock Slide now, we're just gonna crunch it. Crunchy crunch around on the Breloom. Yeah, get off as much damage as we can. Breloom. Breloom. Breloom might actually go for a Mach Punch, which can do a decent amount of damage, but I don't see it just one time. Especially now that we're at full HP, I don't see it taking out my T Tar in one shot. Actually, it's gonna be kind of close. This thing's technician, it can. It's four times super effective. That is deadly. Maybe we should have protected. Should have protected. Let's see what happens here. Mach Punch, he's gonna spore. He outspeeds us like that. That's pretty nutty. That is pretty nutty. He outspeeds me like that. That's nuts. Crunch gonna fly through it. Not very effective, but still chipping up some solid damage. Still chipping up some solid damage. We're gonna get that uh defense drop, which I really, really like, and Dom Fan is. So this thing stockpiling again. Toxic. Oh, you son of a biscuit. <laughs> the Toxic's maybe We still have two great Pokemon in the back end. And wow, I can't believe that Breloom outspeeds my, uh, my T-Tar like that. Outspeeds my crazy. So I would love to get off another turn here, but again, I think he mock punches through. You know, I'm gonna protect. I'll take the damage. Quagsire's kind of annoying here. I dang Quagsire. <laughs> God dang Quagsire. And then from here... I'm gonna try to go for an ice shard to finish off that boot, but I'm just protect him and just try to waste out some turns for Dom Fan to come in here because I do believe the mock punch is coming. In. No, he just withdraws. He just withdraws. It's fine by me. He's just gonna withdraw. He's gonna go in token. So he shows tokens as the final mod. So we're definitely gonna have to go into bullet punch with our uh, scissor in the back end, which we still haven't shown yet, which is really, really good. Dom Fan does wake up. That's a beautiful wake up. That's a beautiful wake up. So we wake up there and we get off some lovely damage. Here. Some lovely damage. And Skull is gonna fly through here and that's gonna go in. He just wasted a protect. Ah, dang, that's some big damage. That is some big, big damage. It's a crit, that's why. Get out my face with the crits. Get out my face with the crits. Sandstorm does subside. We are going to try to take off that Quagsire's item, and we're going to drop a we're gonna drop, drop a Rock Slide to do some big damage onto Togekiss. Onto Togekiss. That Quagsire with the leftovers and the stockpile boost? Kind of annoying me. Doing me dirty. Toxic's going to start chipping for high damage. Look at that. It's getting after me, dude. You, everyone knows Toxic's too deadly. going to go for this uh, knockoff to try to take off that item, and then Rock Slide's coming up. Rock Slizzle is coming hot. I wonder what he's doing here. This guy's playing Quagsire solid. Real solid. Rock Slide pokes through here. 
we get rid of Togekiss like it's nothing. We're going to be able to knock off this thing's leftovers, and we're hoping that it's going to flinch so we can get off another turn. So solid, solid, solid. We still have all four of our Pokemon, which is beautiful. Knock off Punctuator. We said, hey, yo, give me them leftovers. Give me them leftovers. And he flinches. Mwah, yo, beautiful turn. We love it. We love it. Tom Fan's going to soak up some more HP. Gets, uh, what is that? 12? 12 HP with the leftovers. Beautiful. And Tyrantar should start taking a whooping, yo. 35. Or what was it? 35 or 30 HP there. Next turn's not going to be hot for us. He's going to bring out uh, Breloom, who is fastest on the field. And we're going to try to take it out. Actually, we're going to go for an Ice Shard. Yeah, we're going to Ice Shard that all day. Ice Shard and just crunch over on this slot. If he doesn't mock punch my Dom fan, he's dead. He can mock punch my T-Tar all day. I don't mind it one bit. I don't mind it one bit. Not one bit. Make a move, Mr. Guy. Make a move, Mr. Guy. Make a, make a, make a move. See what he does. He goes to the mock punch into T-Tar. I'm cool with that. Like I just said, I'm fine if he mock punches into T-Tar. That's totally fine. That's totally cool with me. Ice Shard's gonna fly. This should be able to take him out. It's super effective. Get him out of here, right? Let's go. Don Fan the Elephant. Fleshing up there. That's a big KO. Now we have this pretty much down to a science. It's going to turn into a 2v1, and we're going to win this battle. 2v1 with Amy Palm, so we can fake out turn one. And we have Scissor, who's choice banned. I get that he's plus one on defense. Ah, no, you, ain't, you ain't soaking up this many shots, especially without your precious little leftovers that we knocked off. So let's rock into Scissor. Let's rock into my boy Amy Palm, and let's get rolling. I do think he cancels the battle. It's a beautiful battle for us. Beautiful battle for, for us. We lost the first one, which was a 6v6. Totally unfair for us, but see what happens when we come into an actual battle. Your boy thrives. Your boy thrives. We're going to go into uh, x Scissor here for stab damage, and we're just going to fake out turn one. Just fake him out turn one. Let's see if he cancels. Does not cancel. Fake out comes through, and that's going to be GG's. Wow, dude, that damage. That was a crit. <laughs> that was a crit. x Scissor flying through here. GG's, yo. Quagsire, get on out my game. One and one for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves some winning record in the third and final battle. Let's get rolling here in bow number three. We're going up against a super, super strong team with Latios, Gyarados, Arcanine, Cresselia, Hitmontop, and Scissor. So a bunch of heavy meta Pokemon. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and solidify a winning record. But how should we go into this one? How should your boy Jeans play it? I'm thinking he's going to lead the Latios, like, you know, try to get that Tailwind control. So Ambipom could be a solid lead. Just like go in there, hit a fake out, kind of get a little bit of control and roll out from there. I'm kind of leaning towards Ambipom. Ambipom's just too good of a lead not to bring, you know? So I really do like that lead. I could go T-Tar here as well. I could go T-Tar here as well, but I'm kind of scared of the Intimidate just rolling in for turn one, so I might just go Togekiss at this point. This Togekiss is pretty good up against the Latios. It's good up against the Hitmon Top. We do have to watch out for the Scizor. Um, and then from here, I could bring a Scizor of my own. Just for choice ban, just get rid of that Crystal. Yeah, I'm with it all day. So we're going to go Scizor, and then last but not least, Gyarados, and then we keep the Sandstorm Squad out of here. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three for that good old winning record but this guy's struggling to pick his team yo he has 20 seconds left he's shaking in his boots he's like hey yo jeans picking some strong team i gotta pick something stronger but ooh, dreary music real dreary music for battle number three he goes arcanine alongside with gyarados and oh that ain't too shabby for us that ain't too shabby just get off the intimidate we go obviously for the fake out i'm kind of scared of that i'm kind of scared of both of these guys I'm scared of a dragon ant setup i'm scared of a strong i do have to probably fake out more so onto that uh on that gyarados and then kind of just air slash right into that Arcanine slot and try to roll out from there. Because Arcanine's a pain to deal with. He really is. Arcanine's a huge pain to deal with considering it just has Snarl, it can burn, it can just do a lot. It can just do a lot. So I'm going to fake out you just so you don't set up or do any big damage. And I'm going to go for his Air Slash and maybe try to get a flinch. If not, try to get off some big damage with this thing with Super Lucky and the Scoop Blades. So, let's see what he does. Because Tokus should be able to outspeed Arcanine. I'm thinking it should. Really depends on the Arcanine build. Really depends on that. But we'll see. He's going to end up withdrawing Gyarados. I'm, I'm cool with that. He withdraws Gyarados. That double intimidate. That was. And Scissor's going to fly through. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. We're going to fake out here. And we're going to chip up some damage. We get the chip damage there. Scissor is scaring me here. Arcanine's going to outspeed. It's tough news. Real tough news. Real tough news. Real tough news. The Snarl pokes out here. I have to U-turn with my Amy And I might protect my next turn. My Togekiss. Bear Slash is going to fly here. Yeah, I'll eat. Send it this way. How much damage are we? We're not super luck crit. No crit, man. What you mean? What you mean? Get out my face. Definitely you turn out. Uh, chip up some more damage on the scissor. And then uh, I have to protect you, right? I have to protect you right here. You know the bull punch is flying. So I knew this one was going to be a tough battle for us. I knew it was going to be a tough battle for us. But I could hard swap into the Gyarados next turn, too. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to U turn into probably. Do you turn into Gyarados here? I could U turn into Gyarados. That is an option. 
Let's just see if we can do it. Or I can go through a scissor on my own, but scissor is just not looking good. Scissor is just not looking good. We're dipping back. I'm gonna send out Gyarados here. I'm gonna send out this Gyarados just to pose a threat onto that uh, arc. Just to pose a threat onto that arc and I saw it. We're gonna go in here. I can see another Snarl maybe coming out here. But Intimidate's gonna fly, which is gonna be huge up against that scissor. And then uh we're hoping it's bullet punching across, right? Let's see what it does. Or is he gonna meet the hard beat? Just for player ones. Oh no, it's not bullet punching. We know that for a fact. That's tough news. We know it's not bullet punch. Did it double did it read me? Did it read my protector swap? Let's see what he does. Did he go into a sword? Oh no, he read. He read me hard. This boy read me hard. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Okay, uh how's Jeans gonna play this one? Waterfall. I'm gonna waterfall into Arcanine. I'm gonna have to swap into. Or do I let him go down here? I'm gonna swap into scissor here. I have to swap into my scissor. I have to swap into my scissor. We need my skizzy. The bullet punch would take out my Amy Palm. A bullet punch would take out my uh, Tokus all day. We have to swap. We have to swap, dude. That's so scary. This dude making the plays, yo. Hard reading on his end. Great call by him. Great call by him. Even if we didn't protect, he still would have got off some big damage. Or uh, we wouldn't have been able to get off enough damage on this. Actually, do type of damage. So it's just like, the protect was fine. He, j he just ran it hard. Great play by him. The only thing we could have done was maybe air slash. Hope that we get a flinch. But it's not like we're shooting boost or anything. So it's not like we have a high chance of getting that flinch. Well, let's see what our guy does. Let's see what our dude does. He withdraws Arcanine. He's going to go back into Gyarados, right? Gyarados going to poke out here. Is that what's happening? Yeah, Gyarados can come out here. It's a great swap. This guy's like pretty confident on his swaps. Maybe I should start reading swaps. Timonate's gonna fly. And we're gonna swap it to Skizzy. Boy Skizzy over here. This guy's pretty confident on his swaps. Let's see what he does. Let's, let's, let's see how this one plays out here. He's gonna go for that bull punch, right? Yeah, bull punch flies through here. My boy should be able to soak that up all day. You know, that's some decent damage. We soak it up. So he's, he's gonna take some life orb damage. We probably should do it. Oh. Just want to fall in that slot. We go here, and I'll eat, and we go chip up some damage, and that ain't too bad. I don't want to swap him at this point. I don't want to swap my Gyarados at this point. Get out, Amy Palm. And maybe choice into like, like all of our moves stink actually. <laughs> all of our moves are really bad. I'm gonna make U turn here, try, try, just to try to get back out Gyarados. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna U turn pivot, just to try to get back out my Gyarados. For another intimidate. They're gonna swap you to my lovely little Amby Palm. Lovely little Amby Palm. And he's gonna witch all the scissors. Okay, I'm totally cool. We got the swaps on deck. Is he dragon dancing? He has a chance to dragon dancing here. He's gonna go and hit my top for intimidate. That's fine. It's fine, we're swapping. And now I can actually bring out my Togekiss instead of my Gyarados. Or or do I bring out my Gyarados? Two physical attackers. I'm with it. Let's see what he does. He's dragon dancing. I knew he was. That son of a biscuit. <laughs> Dragon Ants is there. Um, hmm. What's my play here? What's my what's my next play after this? So we're going to U-turn out. I could bring back out Gyarados, but I'm leaning towards Togekiss now. Actually, I, I think I'm going to go Gyarados just for that. Just for that. Intimidate. Works too good. Works too good. I'm going to bring him back out here for Intimidate on two physical attackers. We're going to drop Gyarados' attack back to normal. And he's just going to be plus one on speed. So he's plus one on speed. Uh... I think at this point we fake out and we Dragon Dance on our own. He has so many Intimidate Pokemon. It's annoying me. It's annoying me a lot. We're going to fake out you and I'm setting up a Dragon Dance. Let's run it. Let's run it, baby. <laughs> God dang, dude. Maybe he'll swap. Maybe he'll swap an Arcanine. We'll see. This is absurd. This is an absurd battle. Absurd battle number three. Amy Pop's going to fake out. Let's get that damage off. Look at that. Love it. Love it. He's going to flinch. And what's Gyarados going for? Yeah, just going for Dragon Dance. Yeah, we're doing the same thing, dog. We're doing the same thing. We're doing the same thing. The exact same thing. Dragon Dance flying. Sit him down. Um, I could hard swap here. I'm trying to think of what I should do. Not my Gyarados, my game. Um, but I might just double hit. I'm thinking of just double hitting here. I could go for an Aerial Ace. If he stays in, Aerial Ace would be better. Doesn't miss. Super effective. We have Technician on this, though. Technician's real good. Technician real good. That Silk Scarf. I think Double Hit might do more damage. I don't know. But I'm just going to go into the Double Hit. I'm going to go... He's going to swap. He's going to swap him. So I'm going to double down into the slot. 
He's gonna swap, he's gonna swap him in all Let's go battle. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. <laughs> this is such a good battle, but the Intimidates really doing me dirty. Really doing me dirty. Three of them. Bro, three Intimidates, dude. Three Intimidate Pokemon. Gyarados, Hitmontop, and Arcanine. Do me dirty. And then he has a scissor in the back end, which I have to watch out for. I hope we can actually make this battle close. At least get some KOs. But so far, it's a really good battle. I'm gonna go straight for a waterfall. Can we eat that? Oh, it goes into Gyarados. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So he goes into, goes into Gyarados here. Our waterfall is gonna go into here. And cool, it actually takes out hit my top, no problem. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So double hit is going to slide across here. And we're gonna get some work done. Oh, we're gonna start getting some work done. I love it. Let's do it. Double hit. Heal. Chipping up some damage. Hit the sink hard. Heal. Nice. Lovely. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's probably gonna bring back out Scissor. If I had to guess, Scissor's gonna come back out. You don't want to deal with Scissor. No, he's gonna go Arcanine. Let's go Arcanine for that Intimidate. That's fine. That's fine by me. We're minus one now, but Waterfall can still do a nice chunk of damage. Come here, I'm just gonna double hit into you. Do I double down into that Gyarados? This guy is a big swapper. He is a big swapper. He's big on the swap one. He knows we're plus one on speed. Uh. I think we're just gonna double down this character slot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So he protects. We love it. We love it. We love it. He's gonna go for a waterfall. He's gonna get first turn. Who's he gonna take out? He's gonna go try to take out Ambipom, and it works. So he takes out Ambipom, and this actually works better for me. Unless he's trying to bull punch me. No. Waterfall's gonna fly. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna get rid of you. So we get rid of him. We still have a Gyarados who is now the fastest on the field, but he has a scissor who can just like bull punch straight into me. Okay. I understand. I see this dude. Uh, who should we go into from here? It's tough. It's real tough. We have to get rid of the scissor. And I don't think just like any way we can get rid of the scissor. <laughs> we have a choice band Pokemon. We're gonna go here. Um What do I do? I have no idea what I do. To protect Gary, but it's just like, oh, dude, we have to go into Night Slash, though. Night Slash and the Scissor. We're gonna look for the crit. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. obviously, Bolt punched into me, but I'm like, I'm trying to think. Like, what would Protect do? If Arcanine outspeeds his Protect really won't do anything. You know what? Maybe he doesn't go into it. We're gonna double down the Scissor slot. Let's see what he does. Bolt punch. There it is. Protect would, wouldn't have really done it. What are we protect? Protect that turn, and then Arcanine outspeeds us and hits us with a Flare Blitz and drops us anyway. And then he can just pull a punch next turn. Let's see. Let's see, unless my Scissor outspeeds. No, he doesn't. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. So, if we would have protected it, he would have just blocked it, and Scissor would have went down. So, that's, that's exactly what would have happened, and then he could have just pull a punch this turn. So, yeah, that's GG's. It's over with. He's just going to pull a punch with Toe Kiss. It's, it's, it's a goner. It's a goner, but what a third and final battle. That was a great battle. Bunch of good swaps. All good stuff, but his scissor really just counteracting me. I probably should have played up against that. I should I should have I should have focused in on his team a little bit more, studied it a bit more, and then be like, okay, we're gonna definitely need Dom Fan to get some work done off that uh, on that scissor because he's my only Pokemon with a fire move. But there it is, guys. One and two for today's video, but technically one and one. The first battle was just a six v six up, up against legendaries that we still kind of thrived up against. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Had some fun in the Coliseum with this Don Fan and Choice Band Scissor team. I absolutely loved it. The first battle, like I said, was just a funny battle. We went up against 6v6, up against top tier legendaries like Arceus and Sky Force Shaman. Second battle, we thrived up, dominated that one, and grabbed ourselves a win. And the third and final battle was just a really good battle all around for me and my opponent, but we ended up grabbing that L in the end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.